Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am so glad that you decided to join me today. In this episode, you'll get the opportunity to meet me. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Glad you came back. So in this video, you will get the opportunity to learn about me. And I have here a few questions that were posed of me. And hopefully by the end of this video, you will feel like you know me a little better. So we're going to start with question number one. Who are you? Well, first, my name is Tamika. And I consider myself to be a motivator of young men. Question number two. Why did you develop this channel? Well, I developed this channel because I saw a need. There are a lot of young men out there that don't have a father in the home or they don't have a a good male role model to challenge them or to um, teach them how to be great men. So I wanted to target uh, those individuals that, um, you know, may need some someone to challenge them or um, help provide some encouraging information along the way as they develop into men. Question number three, what type of content is on this channel? Um, the content that you would find on this channel would be anything that would help to develop um, these young men, uh, whether it be the word of God or um, life skills information, which is much needed. Um, conversations or um, just a heartfelt message um, just to encourage or to just provide some needed information that I feel might be necessary to share. Um, so it really could be a range of information, um, all types of information that might be shared. Question number four. What do you hope to accomplish by this channel? Let's see. I would hope to accomplish by this channel um, that these young men would just soak up all of this information that will be shared and that they will apply it to their everyday life, um, hoping that it will change their lifestyle for the better. Um, that they would also recognize their true identity. I think identity is very important. Um, and just make a choice to be their best selves, you know, to just question, why do I do what I do? Am I being true to myself and who I'm supposed to be? Um, and just, just teach them to love other people, to give of themselves to help other people, that they will walk in fullness of joy, that they will have true inner peace, that they will be successful in every area of their life as a result of information they might have received from this channel, um, in church, in their, in their daily lives, from people that they come into contact with, uh, just to love on these young young men, to show them that somebody cares, um, somebody is in the walk and the fight with them with everything that they go through. So I just uh, want them to know that they're not alone and uh, that I recognize that being a man, it's not easy, And but you can do it. 
you know, I, I have faith and trust in, in you that you can do it and you can be successful and reach every dream. Question number five. Are you a licensed and ordained minister? No, I'm not. I have not been to seminary. I have not been licensed. I'm not an ordained preacher in a church somewhere. Um, nope, I'm not. Question number six. Are you religious or spiritual? I don't really say that I'm a religious person. Um, I'd rather say that I am a Christian. Um, I have been raised in the church, um, as a child, my, my entire childhood raised in the church under the teaching of the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ and what he did for us. And all of my life, you know, I've tried to walk as a Christian Christ-like, um, to be an example of Christ and to show the love of God, uh, the love of Christ to every person that I come into contact with. So, um, I like to say that I am a Christian. Also, let me make another point on that. Um, being a Christian, does that mean that I am blameless without fault? I do not profess to be perfect. Um, and without fault, do I mess up sometimes as a Christian? Yes, I do. We, I think we all do as Christians. Um, we're not perfect. Um, so don't disown me if you see me doing something that, um, doesn't represent Christianity, but know that I daily am trying to be a better person. I daily am conscious that people are watching and that I need to be a, a good example. And I daily am working to be the best person um, that I can be. Question number seven. Is this channel for only Christians? I am glad you asked. No, it is not. This channel is for anybody that would want to tune in and review this information. And I hope that you enjoy the information. I hope the information is beneficial to your life. Take from it what you can and what you want to take. And whatever else you don't want to take is your choice. Question number eight. What do you believe as a Christian? Oh my gosh, I believe a lot of things as a Christian. Um, let's see how minimal, I bite size I can put that. Um, where do I start? I do believe in God. I believe in Jesus, the Son of God. I do believe in the Holy Spirit um, of God. I do believe that angels, demons, I believe that heaven and hell, all of this exists. I do believe in miracles. I think the creation of earth and the, the heavens and uh, everything is a miracle. That, to me, that is a miracle in itself. We can just start right there. But anyway, I do believe in miracles here on earth. Um, I do believe in the Holy Bible have one here. Uh, it's a little raggedy, which means I've been using it, but uh, I do believe in the Holy Bible. I believe that it is God's word that God inspired people to write, just like God inspired me to start this channel to share all of this good information. Um, I do believe that God is the creator of this beautiful world that we live in and he created mankind. I do believe that we as people, mankind did sin and was destined to perish, but because of God's love for his creation, for mankind, he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross to accept the punishment on behalf of mankind. Um. I do believe that Jesus was crucified. He did die. 
he was buried in the tomb and he did rise by the miracle working power of God. Jesus was resurrected. Um, I believe that Jesus is sitting, sitting at the right hand of God in heaven. Um, I do believe that Jesus will come back um, to collect those that are saved, that have made a confession of Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Um, I also believe that there is eternal life after this physical world life, that when we die, there's eternal life, whether it's in heaven or hell, based off your decision to choose Jesus as Lord and Savior. Um, I also believe in water baptism, um, which is just an open confession of uh, our faith in Jesus Christ. Um, so Jesus did see the sin of mankind, just as we recognize our sin. Um, Jesus died on the cross and we do go in the water uh, to die to our sin Jesus was resurrected. He rose and we come out of the water, a new creation uh, in Christ Jesus. Water baptism, I don't believe is the saving process. You know, just because you're baptized don't mean you're saved. Um, I think you have to make an open confession of Jesus Christ. Um, but anyway, I do believe that in water baptism as an open confession of your belief in Jesus Christ and what he did. Um, I do believe in communion. Um, we do communion in remembrance of Jesus Christ um, and his crucifixion, what he did, dying on the cross. Um, the cracker is a representation of the body of Jesus Christ, which was bruised for us. He took a beating. Um, he took stripes um, for us and the wine represents the or juice some people use juice represents the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed for us that should we choose him we have the right to salvation freely uh, we have the right to healing um, freely free gifts um, I do believe in the baptism of the Holy Spirit where the power is and the evidence of praying in tongues which is praying in an unknown language to yourself. It's not your native language, but um, it's the perfect prayer, you know, uh, divinely orchestrated by the Holy Spirit. It's a perfect prayer unto God who we pray to. And, um, you know, we pray mysteries. We pray things that we don't know about in our natural being. Um, this is... Uh, Something so very powerful. So I do believe in prayer in tongues. I do believe in church attendance. We as Christians should attend church with other believers. I do believe that we should uh, give back. I believe in ministry. I think that we should uh, do things to help other people. We should operate in some type of ministry gift that has been given to us. Whatever um, we have the ability to do to help other people. So that is my nugget on what I believe as a Christian. Um, it was a mouthful. But anyway, my last question, question number nine. Let's see what it is. Anything else you want to say? I think I've said a lot, but what I want to say is thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. I hope the information is impactful and that your life is changed as a result of the information shared. I would ask that you like, comment, and subscribe. I am okay with you sharing any information on your social media platforms if you enjoy any of the information that I have shared. Um, and talk about talk about the information on this channel, you know, direct people to this channel. If you like it, direct somebody here that you think might benefit from the information. If you want to reach out to me, I do have an email, tamikasnuggets at yahoo.com. So thanks again for tuning in.